What's up gamers? We are back with another video and today we are talking about some Tekken, man. This has been a lot of talk. We get into the end of uh, the year for Tekken, for Tekken's first season. Their last character is getting ready back to come out. And we got Tekken World Tour getting ready to come to a close, man. Uh, this is probably my first time actually like getting super serious with Tekken. Like I, I, I got serious with Tekken 7 too. I played Tekken 7 from all the way from the beginning to the end too. So I say, I take, so, okay, I take that back. So Tekken 6. Tekken 6 all the way to now. Cause Tekken 5, Tekken 5 was just like, it, it was just a, a, a awesome game. I've been playing Tekken since Tekken 1, casually. Uh, but taking Tekken seriously, I started taking Tekken seriously at around Tekken 6. But we're going to talk about uh, the end of Season 1, Tekken 8. It's been, this Tekken has been getting a lot of buzz these past couple of like months since it's been out. At these tournaments and stuff, people are mad at the game. Some people love the game. Some people are like, oh, this game needs changes, uh, blah, 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 comparing it to Tekken 7. But you know, the, the usual hoopla around a new... Uh, Tekken or a new fighting game with changes need to be changed or what stuff they like and all that good stuff. But we're going to talk about mainly the first season and the last character that should be in the game, man. Um, a lot of speculation going around, right? So a lot of people are wondering who will be the last character for Tekken. Uh, I'm really hoping I got three people. I got three people <laughs> actually like, y'all know I'm a Final Fantasy book, right? Y'all know Final Fantasy is my shit. It is my shit. But, to, uh, for Tekken, I would like to see, uh, it's certain characters that I would like to see. Uh, Final Fantasy is definitely, is definitely up there as far as, like, what characters that I want to see. So, we're going to go to my first character, number one, that I think should be in there. Uh, Tifa by far a, a long shot. But uh, like Tifa, I think will make the perfect character in this game for if you're gonna put a Final Fantasy character in the game. When they put Noctis in the game, I was surprised. I was like, cause Noctis felt like everybody felt like Noctis should be in Soul Calibur. But uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they announced him Soul Calibur. To be honest too. But anyway, back. I reiterate, back to Tekken. Uh, Tifa will be so good in this game, dude. She'll be broken when they first come out with her. Because, look, Tifa already has the unbrittled strength stance. You can get her going into those different stances, and her fighting style ch changes when she uh, unleashes her unbrittled stances. So, fix perfectly for this fucking game. Every character has a stance that you can transition out of to and then do shit. So, man, with her, like, she got the dolphin kick. She got uh her little uh is the dolphin kick the same as a dive kick? No, she got the dolphin what is it, a dolphin uppercut? Or is it a dolphin kick? She got a dive kick and a dolphin kick or something like that. But she got the unbridled strength uh stances that power up her regular normal attacks. So man, dude, she will be perfect. Perfect. Why they haven't put teeth teeth in taken yet and why they waited so long is beyond fucking me. But <laughs> it's I like, like, you know what? I'm gonna call, go out on the limb here and say that this, this last character is Tifa. I'm gonna go out on the limb and say it is Tifa. I, there's no way, cause they, they added Hey Hachi, right? Hey Hachi was the last character that they announced for uh, Tekken 8. That's the biggest main character that you can fucking name. That's the biggest main character. Everybody's saying that. That's the biggest out of all the Tekken main cast. That's the biggest character you can you can name in fucking Tekken Eight for a main character. Now I wouldn't be surprised to see like uh, another popular character, another popular legacy character showing up, like Julia or Bruce, Irvin, Bruce. Everybody been wanting Bruce in the game or seeing Fakarom come back. Uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised to see them come back. But it would be very underwhelming <laughs> to see those characters come back for the last character that they announce. So I would, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't suggest that those characters be the one that they add for the last character after fucking Hey Hachi when Hey Hachi was supposed to be dead and fucking Tekken. What was it? Uh, six. 
when they said, hey, Hachi Mishima is dead. Yeah, so, I mean, like, because hey, Hachi, cause, no, 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 it was taken, no, it was taken seven, he died, I'm sorry. Yeah, it taken seven. <laughs> it was taken seven. Uh, but that was in Taken 5 where uh, Raven had, met had mentioned that. But when he came back in Taken 7 and then him and Ka Kazuya had to be fighting Kazuya through him in the volcano again, he's supposed to be fucking dead. So, <laughs> I mean, he, Hachi's supposed to be dead multiple times, but it's the lies for me. It's the lies Harada has told for me. Hey, Hachi is completely dead. <laughs> so, but yeah, man. Um... Was it technically a surprise to see Heihachi come back? No. Uh, yes and no, because I thought for sure that he wouldn't come back. But and here he is, and uh, he's pretty sick, though, man. I like him. He's definitely one of like my top characters that I like to play play with, along with Kaz and, of course, Lars, and pretty much his whole goddamn family. But <laughs> but uh, other than that, uh, yeah, Tifa, man. Oh, dude, I, like, I'm, put, I'm putting bets that fucking Tifa gets put in this game. So, all right, after Tifa. After Tifa, I would love to see Clive in the game. I would love to see Clive, uh, like, Clive, dude, Clive has some, he got stances with his fucking icon forms. You can have Clive switch between icon forms for his stances. I think that will be Whoa, that would be fucking sick if they had, but they only have him do switch between Phoenix and uh, what is it, Ifri? Do he have the Ifri have a uh, I think Ifri had a uh, one that he could switch to, he did so yeah, to have him switch between Phoenix and Ifri, that would be fucking sick. And then his special, he can turn to Ifri and just fuck the world up, <laughs> like how man, dude. Like, that would be fucking sick. And see them in, in Unreal Engine 5? Oh, man. Seeing Tifa, now don't get me wrong. Seeing Tifa is my, my most recommended. Tifa, because she mostly fits the game. Uh, For spectacle-wise, I would like to see Clive. <laughs> I would like to see Clive for spectacle-wise. I feel like Clive would be a whole lot of fucking fun. <laughs> If he switched between, and then his moves can have, he can switch between uh, the feet. Now, if he, they, I don't think they should give him a Phoenix shift because I think that'd be kind of cheap. Well, no, no, it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't because fucking Victor has a fucking uh, teleport. So, no, I take that back. Yeah, give Clive Phoenix shift. <laughs> so, this, we all have a whole discussion about what Clive should and should not have. Um, uh, his little, his, uh, what you call it, Claw, he can have that. He can have a mixture of a lot of stuff. He will be a really fun character, but a lot of stuff that he has need to be negative, though. Like, he needs to be able to get punished on a lot of, like, big moves that he can have, but some that he can have that are safe, that, are, that look like they should be, like, oh, that should be safe. <laughs> as far as that. But I think, like, to experiment with the character, they should make him broken at first and have players test him out. Uh, not as broken as fucking Akuma, but still broken. But where he can just be a whole lot fun and then he can fit into the, the way the game works. Because you got some crazy characters like Victor. Fucking Double Gen got crazy looking moves, but he's one of the worst characters in the game. So I feel like they can do something with uh with uh Clive, man, to make him a legit character. But I, t Tifa would be de my definitely recommended one. Because she wouldn't feel broken. I think if they put Clive in the game, Clive would feel broken. You know how some characters feel like they shouldn't be in Tekken and then they feel broken? Like Akuma. Noctis didn't feel like... Noctis was... I don't think Noctis was broken, though. Akuma and Geese were, like, probably the most broken fucking characters out of all of them. Because Noctis didn't have any... He didn't have any, like, super, super cheap stuff, but... He was still kind of broken. <laughs> but not as broken as Akuma and fucking Geese with their 2D fucking, like, jumps and, like, and cancels, dude. I don't think Noctis had cancels like Geese. They had 2D fighting game cancels with Geese and Akuma, which made them. And they had projectiles. Noctis had a projectile, too, where he can throw it. But, I mean, having a, a, a Hadouken and a ground wave go at you over a Red Fugan. Go at you all day? Nah, bruh. Nah, bruh. But, uh, no. Nah. 
I'm a, I'll, I'll, Clive will definitely be a good choice as well. Now, a third character. My third choice. You do have Metal Gear Solid 3 getting ready to come out. And you know what? I have a like a strong likelihood that that might be a character. Man, he might be that third character as well. It's it, I don't know. I have a strong feeling it's gonna be one of those three. It's go like these three people that I mentioned. It's going. It's it's got to be one of them. if they want to bring some hype to Tekken. It can't be a, 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 a OG character. I mean, gr granted, I wouldn't mind if it's an OG character because I love Tekken 8 right now. Tekken 8 is in a good spot for me. I love this game. It's fucking, it's fucking awesome. It got, it got some stuff I hate, but other than that, I love playing this game. Uh, it's probably my most played game this year. And you guys, uh, like, I'll be putting some hours in RPGs and shit, but I got some hours into this game. Uh, but yeah, man, the, and Snake would be fucking awesome to see him. And then to have all his alternate costumes. Clive got alternate costumes. Tifa got crazy alternate costumes. Uh, and then, man, oh, the possibility. If I see any of those three characters, I will lose my shit. Mainly, if I see the first two, I will really lose my shit. But if I see the, it would be it would be super sick to see Snake in the game too. Him doing some CQC uh, uh, CQC shit. And some uh, doing some choking out some people, and then they leading in the combo. That that would be that would be fucking disrespectful, man. To have Snake do some crazy shit like that, and of course he has like some of his uh, his signatures of uh, like his uh, like some of the stuff they had in Smash Brothers. Uh, as far as like the choke outs and drag, I don't know if they had him dragging people, but some of his like his signature combos that they and then. Granted, they had people, uh, they had Snake and Smash Brothers, and, uh, you know, Smash Brothers was close ties with, you know, people even, because Tekken was in Smash Brothers. You had, uh, Kazuya in Smash Brothers. So, seeing Kazuya in Smash Brothers, I, I have a feeling all those guys were fucking talking, and like, hey, who you want, you want to be in my fighting game, and all that, and, and all that good shit. So, with Namco Bandai, talking with Nintendo, and talking to Square Enix, because all of them, they still close knit, <laughs> so I wouldn't be surprised to see some, another Final Fantasy character or seeing Snake. So it's going, it's definitely going to be, it's going, it's going to be one of those three. I wouldn't be surprised. I would, I'll be super surprised if it's a Mortal Kombat character. A lot of people saying they would like to see Sub Zero and Scorpion in the game. That would be actually fucking sick, to be honest with you. And I will feel bad for Mortal Kombat though because I like I'm not going I don't, I'm not even playing Mortal Kombat one right now man I like it, you your signature one of y'all signature characters is on, uh, on on another competitive fighting game man I'd rather play that game than play him on your own game so <laughs> I don't know so I don't know about um I don't know about I don't know about Mortal Kombat uh, that's a slim chance that they putting a Mortal Kombat character in there. But Final Fantasy is highly likely because Final Fantasy is popping now with Final Fantasy 7. And 16 came out on PC and it was popping last year too. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then, you know, you have... It could be a Capcom character. Uh, it would be nice to see a Resident Evil character in the game as well. Uh, another, I don't think any of the RE characters have been in, like, a guest character. And Have they been a guest character in Smash? I don't think an RE character was in Smash. Like Jill or anything like that. I don't think an RE character was in there. But they were in Namco X Capcom. That old game. So it would be cool to see like Leon or Chris in the game. That would be surprising. That would probably, that, that's a curveball though. That's a curveball for that one. I don't think that one's going to be in uh, if I saw Lee, if I, Leon in this, that'd be fucking ridiculous. That that that's that, yeah, I'm all for it. But I don't I don't want to see a SNK character. I don't want to see a Street Fighter character. That's me personally. I wouldn't mind it if they did it, but I do not want to see those characters. I do not want to see SNK or a Street or a Street Fighter character because I just want SNK and Capcom to do Capcom versus SNK. <laughs> I like. Oh, uh, I like I like the guest characters. Some people don't like guest characters, but I actually like the guest characters to see, especially depending on what game they come from. 
And if it's wrong from my favorite, one of my favorite companies, Square Enix, I'm all for it because, you know, Final Fantasy is my shot. So, I don't know. That's my three picks that I hope are in the game. I honestly think it's going to be one of those three. I honestly think it's going to be one. I, I don't think. I, I, I think it's going to be one of them three. Clive, Tifa, or Snake. Snake would be a good choice, but Tifa would be the best. So, we just going to have to wait and see. <laughs> let me guys, uh, let me uh, know what you guys' picks are going to be. Uh, who you think is going to be in Tekken uh, for the last character. There's a lot of buzz going around for it. Uh, I, you got my picks. I'm hoping for it. I'm praying that it's, it's one of them three, man. Uh, I'll be happy for any one of those three. I hope it's not Akuma coming back. I hope it's... that It's a blue background, so I doubt it's Akuma. <laughs> I doubt it's Akuma. But anyway, that, is it a blue? Like, like do they show... Like, let me see the banner for the shit. Because usually the background kind of matches, like, the color of the character. It's orange. Oh, fuck. Yeah, because, like, you see they got the, the green. Oh, shit. Who could be orange? There's no way that's Tifa. There's no way. Kazuya, some people saying Kazuya. I don't think Kazuya is going to be a, a pick. So red was Lydia and, uh, and blue was Hey Haji. Who the fuck? What color would, would go with orange? Is that orange? That's definitely orange. I don't know who the fuck that's gonna be. Oh lordy, we definitely gonna see it. We ain't got too long to wait. We ain't got a little too long to wait, man. We gonna wait and see. Please don't be fucking a cool. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah, like I said, let me know who you guys think is gonna be the last character in Tekken. Uh, super exciting stuff, man. Can't wait to the Tekken War Tour. I'm gonna be watching the hell out of that shit. And getting hyped, man. All right. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.